Hi, thanks for joining us. Uh, we've been getting a lot of phone calls and emails regarding Facebook Live. So I've decided to show everyone uh, one of our favorite products that streams not only to Facebook Live, but to all the other content delivery networks such as Livestream, uh, Ustream, YouTube Live, Decast, Wowza. But basically, this is the product uh, that makes it extremely easy to go directly to Facebook Live, uh, whether it's from a single camera or whether it's connected to a production switcher which is switching content from several cameras and pre-shot video graphics and whatnot. So basically the Teradek Video uh, is part of a product line. There's three products in the Video range. There's the Video Mini, the Video and the Video Pro. They all work exactly the same in principle. However, the Video Mini only has one network connection, which is Wi-Fi. The Video has Wi-Fi, Ethernet and 4G USB modem. And the Video Pro, the more expensive item, has what's called bonded cellular streaming. So you can use a uh, 4G modem plugged into its USB port and pair it with up to four iPhones uh, at a venue and those iPhones could be on Telstra, Optus or um, Vodafone. And it allows you to leverage more internet connections to get the signal out. Uh, we find the video is more than um, uh, capable in most situations, especially if you're in uh, regional cities or major cities. So uh, what we're going to do is Open it up, have a look what's inside, turn it on, connect it to a camera and see how quick and easy it is to actually go live to Facebook Live. And we've got our Facebook page on in the background and we'll actually see it go live. So uh, I'll open it up. And... Uh, so uh, it's just packaged nicely in the top of the box. You can see it's a little bit bigger than a packet of uh, playing cards, or it's almost the size of a packet of Winfield Blue 25s for anyone that knows what they are. It does have an internal battery, and uh, that battery, depending on the signal uh, that you're using, whether it's Ethernet or Wi-Fi or 4G modem, and depending on the encoder rate, it will last from anywhere between half an hour to 90 minutes. Um, we always plug our devices directly into an external power source, and that can be um, an external battery or a plugged-in power source. Uh, you'll see on the back, HDMI in, microphone in if you want. We always use the microphone off the camera. Um, when I say microphone off the camera, I actually mean we always use the, the audio source from the camera and we actually put uh, um, a good quality audio source microphone plugged into the camera and then it's carried over the HDMI cable with the video. So at the moment I'm doing this with a Sennheiser wireless lapel mic and you'll, you can tell that the audio is awesome and it's not off the camera. However, it is coming over the cable uh, from the camera. Uh, Ethernet ports are plugged straight in and it has inbuilt Wi-Fi. So um, it has a, a screen at the front and it has two uh, joystick toggle switches that are joysticks and also selects so you push them to select the item. Um, at the other end, you've got uh, an earpiece um, mini jack, USB port and the power. Now, I'm hoping that this came from the factory with a bit of power. So I've just switched it on uh, and you can see that the screen has started to boot up. And uh, we're gonna boot it up uh, and just simply plug in a Telstra uh, Huawei 4G modem. They're $69 uh, from Telstra. The exact same modem is available from Optus and I think they're also $69 and they come with three gigabytes of data 
Uh, sometimes uh, they have a special with maybe six gigabytes of data. They are locked to those networks, uh, but they're, they're a fantastic modem. Now we actually import the exact same modem and they are unlocked. So uh, you can buy these on our website and then put any SIM card you want into the device. And that's a good option to have because if you get to a venue that hasn't got very good Telstra connectivity, you can grab someone's SIM card or put an Optus SIM card into the same modem and it will work. So we just plug that straight in. The reason that we recommend this particular modem from Huawei is it will automatically configure and work first time every time. Now we've got a lot of experience in uh, what happens when you don't use the correct modems and this is the only modem that we recommend. Okay, so we now need to plug it into a camera so that it uh, starts to get a video signal. So we've got the uh, Canon XA XF105 here and in the actual box comes the um, power supply, the Teradek power supply and it's, it's, it can work in any country so it has all the fittings from American, UK, Australian. It also has a Ethernet cable, an Ethernet cable which we won't uh, unravel, and an HDMI standard size to mini size, which is what is the standard fitting on most consumer grade cameras. It also has the hot shoe adapter. to allow it to be mounted straight to the top of a camera. And we can bring this camera in and we'll mount that straight to the top. Uh, and that's uh, how it would be mounted in use. Obviously we need to see what's going on. So. Um, I'm going to plug the camera in which will give us a signal directly to the video Now I'm just using this long cable to make it easy for me to show you what's going on. The cable that comes with it allows you to mount it on top of the camera and keep everything neat and tidy. So, the, uh, the video now shows us that it's got a video signal and it also shows us that the H.264 encoder has started to work. So um, it's also asking us where we want to stream to. So let's go down and it says Facebook. So I'll select Facebook. Getting device code, please wait. And it tells me the code that I need to, I'll have to uh, hide that in post. It's asked me the code to enter into Facebook, to register it to Facebook. So I'll log into Facebook. facebook.com forward slash device
and I'll simply enter the code. And Facebook acknowledges, says success. And let's just see what happens. And the Teradek video returns the, um, the success instantly. I am now uh, able to select the Facebook page that I'm uh, an administrator of. So I go down to the streaming guys and click apply settings. It will log on to that page. Now, as I have just opened this out of the box, it's actually checking for firmware updates. If it does want to do a firmware update, I will get it to do the firmware update and, uh, and then we'll edit that out in post. Uh, it says uh, that I'm ready to go. My page is the, face, uh, the streaming guys, medium quality. I want to select a better quality. So I go to broadcast settings, quality, select. I want to go high, 1.4 megabits per second. And then I'll navigate back to the opening screen. And it says I'm ready to go to Facebook, the streaming guys in high 1.5 megabits per second. And I'm ready to go. And I'm using a uh, Telstra 4G modem. It's um, uh, the Huawei modem that's available from Telstra and Optus and also on our site. So I'll just hit ready. Um, it asks me if I want to uh, start the broadcast. Yes, press the red button again. And it says starting. and the cloud icon and the live indicate that the, uh, that the broadcast has started to our Facebook page, The Streaming Guys. So let's have a look. We'll refresh our Facebook page. And there it is. And I'll just bring that in a bit closer and you'll see what sort of delay there is and there we are live on Facebook and it's that quick and that simple now to give you an idea of what the quality is like let's uh, let's go full screen and to just make things a little easier um, we should be able to see full screen and we will leave this uh, up on Facebook so that you can uh, refer to the quality of the video. Now this is only at uh, 1.5 megabits per second for p We can actually go easily go to 720p 2.5 megabits per second. So that is how quick and easy it is to go to Facebook Live using the Teradek video. That was brand new out of the box and in less than five minutes I was able to uh, plug in the camera, turn it on, insert the modem, select my Facebook page and go live. It's that easy to go to any other content delivery network whether that be live stream YouTube Live, Ustream, Decast, Wowzer. Uh, it's just simply a matter of putting in the right details and away you go. Now, the device has a fantastic iPhone app that makes it even easier to go live. But that wasn't the point of this uh, little video. The point was to show you how quick and easy it is to have a professional quality streaming device straight out of the box onto your camera and live to Facebook. Uh, you can see it in the background here, uh, still live. So uh, that's it, and uh, we'll bring you another video soon.